food system is fucked. It's fucked. I believe whether you're being a meat eater or you're being a, a vegan or a vegetarian or even eating a balanced diet, if you're just going to the typical grocery store, you don't know where your food's coming from. It's most likely part of this fucked, corrupt system that's taking advantage of our land, our planet, the people that are employed for it, as well as the animals. This stuff comes from why you ranch an hour outside of London in Tilsonburg, Ontario, and they're just free grazing, free range, running around. This is a real chicken that's actually running around. It's not one of these caged slave chickens. What is going on world? I am the Hungarian experiment and today I want to show you a typical meat haul or at least my second ever meat haul for the carnivore diet. I am now on day 10 of the carnivore experiment, the 100 day carnivore experiment that I'm doing here and I just picked up a new order from Western Deli and Meats. If you guys don't know, if you haven't seen my previous video, Western Meats and Deli here in London, Ontario, they're a local butcher and they source their meat from YU Ranch which is just an hour outside side of London in Tilsonburg, Ontario. Grass-fed Texan longhorn beef. I actually went to visit the farm several years back to see how these cows live. How do they treat these cows? And they're just grass-fed running around there. Not really running, they're just grazing, but they seem to have a great life. These aren't factory farm meat. So in this video today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break down this meat order, how much it costs me, what different types of cut of meat I got here, and just everything from this order. So let's get into it, world. <laughs> Hold up. I am the Hungarian experiment. All right, guys, so this is a typical order that I'm doing for the carnivore experiment. As I mentioned, this is only my second big order. I've been to Western Meats a couple times, picking up some things that I do need here and there, like getting some extra bacon, which is not part of this order. Uh, I Last time I got two quarter chickens and this is like some real free range stuff. Like when you eat into this, you can tell like it's gamey. It's like a rough chicken to eat. It's not like, you know, well you go to Swish LA and get that kind of stuff. But today I'm gonna break down this order, how much it costs me and kind of what to expect. Again, I'm still new to all this, new to all the different style of cuts of meat, but I'm really enjoying this so far. So uh, this cost me $355. As I mentioned in a previous vlog, I did hook up the guys with a, a decent sized tip. I think it's important if, to support local and also to treat these guys because I know that every time I go back, they're gonna treat me. So uh, last time I ordered from them, it was $315 for an order like this and it came up to $355. So for the same amount of money, I also got a beef heart because Paul Saladino says uh, we should be going for organ meats. I was hoping to get some liver and kidneys, but that's okay, they were out this time. And I also got a whole chicken as well as uh, two bags of fat. Normally these are about four bucks each. So. It's hard for me to really break down the finances of how much each one of these different cuts cost, but that's why it's good to go to a local butcher and to source your food locally and to actually know who you're getting it from and where they're getting their food from because as I mentioned here, they kind of hook you up a little bit. So last time I did my $315 order, they didn't have any T-bones or top sirloin. So they hooked me up with a bunch of New York strip loin and two rib roasts. So if you guys have seen my other full day vlogs where I'm taking you guys through my full day, day one of the carnivore experiment, day two, day three, day four, I, co I combined day five, six, and seven together. I combined day, day eight, nine, and 10. Uh, it was my first time ever cooking up these rib roasts. And these are like a big meal here. So I averaged this out to about $20 or so for one of these. Um, and these New York strip loins, I believe that last order I got 17 of these. But now that they had the other cuts of meat available, I also got three T-bone steaks and two top sirloins. So I'm excited to cook these up and see what these are gonna be like. I honestly feel like I'm gonna cook this up today. Like this thing is a beast, it's bigger than my hand. Um, I think it's like two and a half to three pounds. So I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to eat all of this, but this is probably how I'll break my fast later today. And 
Yeah, so this is what I got for $355. Now, in another video, I'm actually gonna break down my finances for you guys. How much am I spending on average per day for the carnivore diet? I threw up a little Instagram post and what I'm doing right now is actually a contest. So if you guys are interested, you wanna get in there, get in there right now because whoever guesses the closest to how much I'm spending on an average daily basis, I'm actually gonna send out a copy of the carnivore diet by Dr. Sean Baker or two to the winner. So guys, get on that Instagram post, vote for how much you think I'm spending daily, but also keep in mind that I am getting grass-fed, natural foods, whole foods and stuff. I'm not going to the grocery store and just getting whatever they got there. Now, if you guys wanna do that, if you guys are considering the carnivore diet for yourselves, go ahead, but I honestly believe that if we wanna change the systems that are corrupt in our world, our food system is fucked. It's fucked. I believe whether you're being a meat eater or you're being a, a vegan or a vegetarian or even eating a balanced diet, if you're just going to the typical grocery store, you don't know where your food's coming from. It's most likely part of this fucked, corrupt system that's taking advantage of our land, our planet, the people that are employed for it, as well as the animals. And with a vegetarian and vegan diet as well too, I believe it's still taking advantage and harming animals in the process. So unless you're getting a source locally, unless you're getting all this meat, so this stuff comes from why you ranch an hour outside of London in Tilsonburg, Ontario. I actually went to the ranch and visited the ranch several years back and got to see the Texas Longhorn cattle that they have. And they're just free grazing, free range, running around. Again, as I mentioned earlier in this video, when I got the quarter leg chickens, um, that was some gamey meat. You can't just break the, 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 uh, the drumstick from the thigh that easily because it's really gamey. You can taste the tendons in it because this is a real chicken that's actually running around. It's not one of these caged slave chickens. So I am paying a little bit more than you would get from the grocery store. So if you guys are gonna go vote on that post, just be aware that like some people are guessing like, oh, you're probably spending $8 a day or $10 a day and it's like, it's a little bit more than that. But again, if you guys can try to average this out, you guys go check out some of my other videos, you can probably guess and get a good estimate on how much I'm spending on a daily basis here. Now, as I mentioned again, I believe like this is $315 and with taxes, that's putting me up to 355. So, shout out to the Western Meat guys, thank you guys so much. I don't know if they're hooking me up or what's going on here, but like I got a whole chicken and a whole beef heart and this fat as well too for the same price that I paid last time. So, uh, what I'm gonna do after this video here is I'm actually gonna try to break down uh, and try to itemize each piece on how much I think it is, so that way when I am tracking how much I'm eating on a daily basis, I have a rough estimate. But that's gonna be it for me, guys. So I'm really excited to now experiment with top sirloin, which I've cooked on the barbecue before many times, as well as T-bone steak. I haven't cooked many T-bone steak in the past. I'm also gonna whip up this chicken in the next day or two, cook the whole thing in the oven, and another thing that I'm excited to try is organ meat. So if you guys are new to the carnivore diet or you guys are questioning it, Dr. Paul Saladino in his book, The Carnivore Code, he really believes that eating organ meats or eating nose to tail is very important for getting all the nutrients and vitamins and minerals that you need while on this diet. Dr. Sean Baker believes that you can still get enough sustenance, you can still get everything you need by eating the flesh meats, but I want to dive fully into it. So unfortunately they didn't have kidneys, they didn't have liver this time, but each time I go back, I'm gonna try to get a piece of organ meat. Now this is absolutely huge. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna have to look this up online on how to cook this. Um, but I know what Dr. Paul Saladino does is he eats liver, he eats kidneys raw. He just boop and t chases it with some water. So. Yeah, I'm excited to keep learning and keep experimenting with new cuts and new style organ meats. I know when I was growing up as a child, I tried liver a couple times, but I just could not stand the taste of it. Now, was that because it was grass-fed whole uh, beef, or was it because it was like, you know, some of this shittier kind of uh, cattle and the way they treat these animals? That's why I'm supporting this way, and that's why I think it's important to do this as well too. We gotta change these systems, so we have to participate in the new systems that are going to hopefully challenge and take over those systems, but 
Thank you guys so much for watching this video on my second ever big meat haul from Western Meats in Delhi from here in London, Ontario, who sources their meat from YU Ranch in Tilsonburg, Ontario, which is just an hour outside of London. Um, all grass-fed, free-range Texas Longhorn cattle. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, I love you. Go smash that like button. Leave me a comment in the comment section below, and I want to know what you guys think about what I'm doing here, about the carnivore diet. Do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? Am I a bad person? Am I not a bad person? Let me know. I have a whole video coming out about morals and ethics about the uh, about eating meat or eating animals, and that's a whole other video to discuss. So, once again, thank you so much, guys. I truly appreciate having you guys along my journey. And uh, I'm excited to whip up some of this meat today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. I am the Hungarian experiment. I am the Hungarian experiment.